Welcome back for another week of maths. Um, you've got me, Miss Stevens, this week, and uh, we're going to be looking at place value. So our focus for the week is to be recapping our knowledge and our understanding of place value with numbers to 20. So each term we have looked at place value, so this should just be a bit of a recap, but we're going to add on some extra learning as well. Our learning objective for this week is to demonstrate our understanding of place value. Now our success criteria will be that we can count to 20. We will also explain the terms tens and ones and we will even be using different representations. Before we start, I just wanted us to have some retrieval practice. So looking at something that we have already learnt. Now the question is, which number sequence is correct? Now we have looked at number sequences right at the beginning of when we started school and we've been looking at it ever since. So this should be easy peasy. So which number sequence is correct? Is it A, B, or C. Have a little look. If you need extra time, pause the video. Okay then, which number sequence is correct? Is it A, B or C? Say your answer out loud. Well done, it is A because it goes 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Whereas B and C had some mistakes if you had a close look. Well done. Now, when we're talking about place value, this is the value of each digit in a number. Now, this number 14 has two digits. It's got one and two. Now, We've looked at the terms tens and ones before, and that is telling us what the value is. So the place value. So the one is the ten and the four is the ones. If we look at this number, we can see it doesn't have any tens because it only has one digit. So it just has eight ones. Let's have a go at this one together. Number 12, could you please point to the tens? Okay, and can you point to the ones? So here are the tens and there are the ones. Now it gets a bit confusing saying one because we can see that there is a one in the number, but this isn't the value. The value of this one is 10. The ones is in this side here. Now, to help us a little bit, I like to draw a line in the middle and then I can see my tens and my ones. Have a go at this one on your own. How many tens and how many ones does it have? Okay, just before you tell me your answer, point to the ones and point to the tens. Well done, it has two tens and zero ones. Now, there are lots of different ways that we can represent numbers. In school, we have lots of lovely resources that we like to use, like cubes or numicon to show a number. But unfortunately, we don't have that at the moment, but there is lots of stuff I'm sure you have in your home that you can use. So we could use stones, we could use bricks and we can use our fingers. Now, let's just have a quick practice at representing numbers using our fingers. Can you show me the number five? Well done. We started with an easy one. Can you show me number three? Good. Can you show me number eight? Well done. Now listen to this one carefully. Can you show me the number one more than five? I'll say it again. Can you show me the number one more than five? 
Well done, you should be showing me six fingers. Your task today is to find different objects in your home to represent numbers to 20. So you might just want to use your hands, but I'd like you to find some other things. I want you to find different ways, not just one way. You might use your teddy bears. You might go outside if the weather's nice and find something in your garden, whatever you like. Now your challenge is to make two groups to represent one number. So you might have a group of three stones and a group of four stones to show number seven. A helpful resource I found was the number blocks episode where they show you a bit more of the place value. So your tens and ones. And I just found it on YouTube. So see if you can find it and give it a watch. If we look back on what we have learnt today, I think we now understand what place value is. So it is where each digit is and the value of that digit, which links into our explaining our terms tens and ones. Hopefully we know now what our tens and ones are and we can show them or point to them in a number. We should also be able to count to 20 confidently. If not, make sure you practice it whilst doing your task. Well done apples and cherries and I'll see you again tomorrow.